Is it a marauder or a catapult? So in this vlog, we're going to explore that first encounter with the clans. And in terms of a framework, in my opinion, although certainly there's no right or wrong way to jump into battle tech, depends on the interest, depends on the group of friends that you're playing with. I believe starting with Inner Sphere, because Inner Sphere, it's not only where Battletech starts, we've explored this idea of the timeline constantly advancing, but Inner Sphere mechs, that's going to be the backbone, the workhorse. So when you jump into clans, you have something to fight or fight against, but also as the clans advance and Lost Tech is discovered, you can now take those Inner Sphere mechs and restore them to the glory of the Star League or use this updated lost tech salvaged from the clans to improve them. Playing a stalker is pretty scary in her sphere. Playing a stalker with restored clan tech really, really um, makes it a lot more interesting and so much more potent. Almost like one mech becomes a lance. So within that framework, you have your inner sphere mechs. The first time you face clans, it's easy to think, wait, this is broken. This is absolutely broken. The best analogy that I could think of would be late war, World War II planes versus early war, World War I planes. It's going to be an interesting battle. Could those World War I planes pull it off? I'm on a side note, Wings of Glory. I'm primarily focused on World War I planes, but I've got some friends that are into Wings of Glory, World War II, and we have played World War I versus World War II to see how that would happen. It was a similar feeling with clan tech in that they're going to tear you apart so fast. Not only do you need a plan, you need to be executing that plan immediately. So within a nutshell, we've explored clan mechs in the past, and we're going to work our way back around because there's a couple of mechs that I want to focus on, a couple of mechs I want to revisit, and uh, some clan tech synergy that when combined together, not just with battle armor, um, I think really helps deliver the best of the best in terms of the clans. But we need to lay this kind of foundation in exploring it. So generally speaking, the clans, their weapons do more damage, their weapons hit at longer range, and per tonnage class, the mechs tend to be a little bit faster. Armor is about the same or a little bit less. Yes, there's some very heavily armored clan mechs, but there's also some mechs for the tonnage. They're a little bit under armored. And then, of course, there is some experimental clan tech um, in terms of being able to work with battle armor or being able to boost your speed. We're going to put those aside for a moment. The clan mechs are going to outrange you, outshoot you, outmove you. So, What's the balance, right? How does that balance work? Now, in the narrative, the clan invasion, the advantage was the inner sphere had home territory, home field advantage. Supply lines were different compared to what the clan invasion had to push forth. And um, really, the weight of numbers, once the inner sphere started to unite against the clans, even with that superior technology, they just couldn't quite pull it off. And then, of course, as tactics were adapted. Well, you kind of see the same thing on the table. For most of us, a game is balanced by battle value. Now, you could play a specialized mission. You could go with sea bills. You could go with tonnage. But whatever system you're using to buy in, generally speaking, lance versus star, you're going to have more stuff on the table if it's just mechs versus mechs. If you go combined arms, which I'm a big advocate of combined arms. Certainly the clans, uh, you can play mechs, no battle armor, but you really want to play battle armor with the clans because it's a lot of fun. So I balance that out by saying, Inner Sphere, take some tanks, take some vehicles. You are going to get a lot of stuff on the table. Can you prepare to realistically lose a mech and a couple of vehicles a turn, or at least a mech, a mech a turn, let's say in a medium-sized game. That's the damage that the clans are going to be delivering. So what this means tactically, you have to commit 100%. You have to play aggressive. There is no defensive playing. You can't play defensive. I can't move to a certain area, camp out there, maybe hit with LRM fire, maybe skirmish, maybe exchange some PPC shots, because the clans will just stay out of my range and blast me every single turn. 
or move in, isolate and blast, you know, in terms of pulse lasers and ER lasers, it's, it's absolutely crazy. So you need to be leveraging absolutely everything against the clan mechs, isolating them and destroying them. Now, the balance here is clan honor. Technically, and I say technically because the rules are completely open with Battletech. Technically, you are supposed to issue a challenge or when a clan mech fires on something, that means a challenge has been issued and you have to pursue that mech. I made the mistake, well, two interesting mistakes. It had been a while since I played clan mechs. We were playing Inner Sphere and um, we're like, we're going to jump into clans. So I pull out Jade Falcon and um, I've got my Warhawk and I've got a couple of others with the um, ER PPCs. I realize more than halfway through the game, I'm firing them with regular PPC range and damage just because like that's where my brain is, autopilot, right? Just playing it. Um, another time, uh, I had my summoner where a, a, a spider was running by and I had a perfect shot and I took the shot without thinking. And then I realized, wait a second, I just issued, I just issued a challenge. So I spent the rest of the game trying to chase down the spider. It was, it was a complete waste of the machine and likewise rightly so my opponent is like okay you shot at my spider now i'm just gonna hug the flanks run around the table edge back and forth and have you chase me down i say that because that's supposed to be a little bit of the internal balance building your lance uh excuse me building your star within those parameters and then issuing those challenges do you have to play that way well i think idealistically in the beginning or or at certain points that's how the clans operated, but there's also many examples where it was um, true warfare. Clans and inner sphere, just no challenges, no quarter, no mercy. You could play either way, but by issuing challenges, that kind of blends out. Um, it, it smooths out a little bit of the roughness in how the tech is vastly different. Tactically, inner sphere. The big thing is you need to cut down on the initiative. Initiative is still initiative in Battletech, and we've explored this and I've pushed up to the Battletech playlist how important initiative is. So you want to be able to win the initiative, pile on initiative, and be able to have your opponent move one piece, then you move multiple pieces. You need to be destroying mechs. So what's different is not only utilizing all of your battle value, is the fact that in many ways, in my opinion, you want to go for the, the weakest clan mechs first. That's Now, I, I can't spend forever doing that because if I've got some heavy-hitting clan mechs, heavies and assaults, they're just going to be tearing me apart. But lights and mediums, especially lights, if I can tag them, if I can challenge them, if I can destroy them, that's going to be working on initiative. So I need to build in some initiative sinks and I need to try and bring down the initiative of that clan star or stars with how it operates. Focusing on that, you're going to find out the clan tech is vastly superior. It can be challenging to play against, but once you have a battle plan and literally once you can leverage the fact that you are going to outnumber the clans tremendously and utilize that uh, swarm tactics, focusing fire, everything moving forward, then what you begin to see is the clans, they'll fold pretty fast. They will. Yes, they could get some lucky shots. Anything could happen in Battletech. But then it becomes a vastly much, much different game. And true to the narrative, that first time, is it a mad cat? Is it a marauder or a catapult? The mad cat, those first few battles with um, the invasion, the clan invasion, were absolutely crazy with the clan tech. But once the inner sphere adapted, once it understood, once it united, then it was more than a match for the clans.